Mark an update time. Let's have a look at the Aussie dollar. Let's have a look at the uh, US dollar as well. Let's get straight into it. Do not place a trade based on what you're seeing in this video today because trading is risky and it can cause substantial financial loss. There are so many areas you need to become good at to become a good trader. Emotional mastery, chart reading, trading systems, money and trade management. So this video is just educational only to help you become a much better trader. All right, market update time. We're gonna have a look at just, the, just a quick look at the US dollar and the Australian dollar. and show you what I see with happening moving forward. Now moving forward on the US dollar side of things, the UUP obviously, um, you see, we've actually had a little rise in, into a little rise into this action here. In fact, let me actually bring up let me bring up this chart here because it's much better to see. You can see we've actually had a little rise over the last couple of days, and I think there's been talk about how the market believes there's going to be a June a June rate hike, a June rate hike, and so um, you know in, into the obviously from that we have actually seen the US, the US dollar obviously rise and now whether that's true or not I don't know but for me guys I think this market is is looking at the UUP uh, the US dollar here we're getting very 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 weak action from here we're getting uh, this sort of high through here and uh, all I do say guys is that by looking at this chart overall you can see if I squeeze this chart up you can see what I'm looking at here overall and the reason why I'm long-term bearish if you look at this weekly chart This is why it's very very key to I guys to have, have a look at this bearish this weekly chart you can see from here You can see these points or that point through there that point through there And you can see how the market paused right there and then and then actually dropped down So you can see the, what's actually happening through there. In fact, if I do bring my line up Let me actually bring my line up here and show you what I see here. So let me just bring up here I'm just gonna do some trend lines here that that swing up there, swing there, swing there, swing there. Um, that was just a swing down through there, swing up through there, that through there, that through there. So let me just bring this in here. So you tell me where this is going. So see, sometimes guys, when you're doing your analysis on the chart, sometimes it's better off just to bring up a thick pen and draw all over the swings on the weekly chart. Right, because the weekly chart will weekly chart will be able to show you what the overall major trend is going, and it's really not that difficult when you actually start to look at it. Once again, guys, in one of my other market updates that that has just been put up, um, let me just take this off the screen here. You know, if you look at say the, the Dow Jones and the S and P, you know, you can start to see that this this Dow, this Dow Jones chart right now. You can see what's actually happening here right now. You can see that this is the Dow Jones. This is obviously the S and P. This is the Russell, and this is the Nasdaq. And you can see, guys, by looking at these charts. But this is the major charts, and by drawing the trend lines, some guys, when you sometimes, guys, when you're drawing the charts on that, when you're drawing the trend lines, you can see the bigger picture, especially on this Russell chart. Look at that massive head and shoulders on the Russell chart. Now, if you open the Russell chart up, yes, you probably could say this is a bit of a shoulder here. But if you're looking at the flows up and down, up and down, you can see even the Nasdaq is showing major, major, major weakness on the Nasdaq as well too. So that's 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 just what all that's just what all that's that's all that, that that's all that just matters you know what i mean so you can see here so for me guys even if we get a little rally a little rally up where we are right now i still see this this dollar getting hammered to the downside and uup for me guys short term uh we actually see probably getting a a five or so percent drop to the downside now that's obviously the uup let's go have a look at the australian dollar uh, they're, the two, they're the two ones. Obviously, I'm Australian, and two, I trade the US. So they're the two two currencies that I really focus on, focus on, and keep an eye on. Now, guys, I was doing a video last week, and I said that I said that um, that right now where we are right now it looks like the market the market could get a bounce, especially based on the statistics. We're at 62% level. We're at this resistance support line as well too, and the market did get a little bit of a bounce. Had a little bit of a bounce, nice bounce. Now we're having a slight little pullback. On the overall on the overall charts here. Let's go have a look at the weekly charts here. And once again, guys, if you just look at these weekly charts, and once again, if you bring up your trend lines, bring up your trend lines and just start to draw the flow. There's a flow there, flow there, flow there, 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 and now this is starting to happen. So guys, when you start to look at that, and obviously obviously you can start to see what is actually going on uh, overall. Uh, from here and again guys if you just do do you do do your, your analysis like this guys and you can and that's all that matters you know what I mean you want to see this major flows and that's what it's all about guys 
Yes, I do my analysis when I'm looking at the short term, maybe the candlestick or the short term little peak or short term little trifle, all this sort of stuff. But what really counts is these major overall, major overall moves. And if you just look at that and read the charts, so what I'm, if, yeah, if you look at that and you read the charts, then that's going to give you a much clearer picture of what's actually happening overall than just say looking at, than just say trying to read the short term. You know what I mean? So sometimes doing this is going to help you. And then you've got to stand back and say, what's really going on with this chart? See, for me, guys, if I actually show, if I actually show you what's actually going on with this chart, let me actually just bring up here and um, I'll bring on, let me just bring on... Uh, all right, so all I see is this, guys. And just follow, follow with me, okay? And if you just apply this to your own chart, it's really going to help you out. You have this peak, a peak trough, which is a lower trough. We have a, a, a lower peak, a lower trough. We have this lower peak. We have this lower trough, a lower peak, a lower trough. We have this lower peak, a higher trough, a slight higher peak or double top, a lower trough right now. It's a lower trough. We have this higher peak and now we're forming this higher trough so by looking at this you can start to say okay then cool and this is this is the way that i view my charts if i say okay cool what's actually happening through here so firstly we can see we had this major downward movement through here okay then suddenly we had this bottoming action by having these this these this two one bottom two bottoms which is basically as you can see if i bring up say a a uh let's just bring up say a blue um, now let's just bring up a red. You can see that we a red pen. You can see we have this one bottom here, two bottoms. So overall, it's made a bit of a double bottom, right? We had double top here, double top here, double bottom. Who's going to win? Boom! The double bottom broke. So now we have a double bottom, which is a bottoming a bottoming action. Forget the indicators, okay? This is chart reading. Now you have a bottom action, a bottoming action, <laughs> bottom action. Um, <laughs> You have a big bottom here. Um, <laughs> hey, sometimes my bottom feels like that. I'm sitting, doing these, doing these, looking at these charts. Um, <laughs> a big butt. Um, all right, back to the charts. So we have a bottom action here, and now we form up and formed a, a higher peak and a higher trough. If you're looking on that on a weekly chart, is that more bullish, neutral, or bearish? Right now, it can't be right. We had a bearish phase through here. This. Uh, uh, let's just go back to here. This phase through here is now a bottoming phase, which is a like, which is a neutral phase. And now, as you can see, right, we're starting to get into a bullish phase. You're seeing this from the overall charts and the overall flow of the market, right? So that's just what we're seeing right now. Now I'm not saying I'm not saying we're likely to start skyrocketing back above eighty and stuff like that. I don't know, but right now, what the charts are telling me. We're going through that phase. And so that's all that we've got off. And so looking at this big overall time frame chart, you can actually see what's going on there. I also can see if I bring up, say, so let me bring up a, actually a black trend line. I also can see we actually have um, a bit of a support and resistance going on through there. So so if you look at that, then this area here is likely to be a major area of resistance. So for me, looks like looks like the... Uh, Looks like the short term, we want to run up to this area, which is this top area up here, around the just below the 80 mark. And if we do break above that, then yeah, then we can start to see that. And that actually looks like I may want to try and do that. So um, so yeah, we, we just got to keep an eye on that. But by looking at this overall flow and over those mar overall markets, guys, you can see that. So now I'll take it on the screen. It's like, oh, I'm not too quite sure. See, and that's the reason why, guys, it's important to understand the peaks and troughs of the flow of the market and use some of the tools that I've just said in this video to help you. So for me, guys, Australian dollar still looks pretty strong for me for, for more upside and obviously US dollar. US dollar is really, really, really weak. It's just continue to flow down, flow down. So US dollar down, Australian dollar up, and that's what I see, guys, um, for the short term. For the short, for the short term, anyway. I don't know what's going to happen tomorrow, but over the next couple of months, I see US dollar down, US dollar down, Australian dollar. I'm not going to BS you here. Trading is hard. Over my 10 years of trading, I've learned some amazing systems and strategies, and I've put it all in my brand new Grab the Markets by the Balls course, and I'm giving you 100% free access. This whole course is 12 videos long and almost 10 hours of the best systems and strategies that I know. Click on the image below now to get 100% free access right now.